In this clip, we're going to talk about the appropriate way to inspect your brake rotor. This is a one-piece rotor. They have two styles. This is a one-piece solid cast iron rotor. They're the heavier duty version. On some smaller, lighter cars, they'll have a composite rotor where it's actually made in two pieces, the cast iron portion and a stainless steel top hat. And they're welded together inside. What you want to look for on your brake rotor is any kind of excessive corrosion that builds up here. If there's excessive corrosion here, when you put the tire back on and bolt it down, that corrosion will pitch your wheel out of balance. It can give you a high speed vibration. There are other things you want to look for on your brake rotor. Inspect the surface for any kind of grooves or cracks. This rotor is not that bad. It's a little glazed. I wouldn't even recommend machining this rotor. If you take a look, you can see this rotor is a sandwich of two discs. In between them are these fins. These are cooling fins and are actually designed to whip air through the brake rotor as the wheel spins like a fan. As long as none of these are cracked, you want to take and look at each one of them, rotate the wheel around as you're doing it, and check for any kind of cracking going on. This surface rust here is not a big deal. It's a good idea to chip it off. That way it doesn't get caught up in your new pads during the assembly process. Take and spin your rotor around. We don't see any cracks. As long as the inboard surface matches the outboard, like so, the inboard surface is in here. You want to rub your fingers on it and see if you feel any grooves. This one feels good. Take a look back in there. Rotate the wheel and again inspect for cracks. As long as everything looks good, you can go ahead and install new brake pads and not worry about machining this rotor. 